Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro and welcome to another episode of Azure Fridays. Imagine you are working in an organization where you have to access different Azure resources or maybe some of the other office related applications and resources but every time you have to enter your password to authenticate yourself. What if I can tell you a way that you can make it as a passwordless sign-in using Microsoft Authenticator app? Isn't it amazing? Well, in this video, I'm going to let you know how you can make it passwordless sign-in authentication using Microsoft Authenticator app. If you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. My name is Ajay Kumar and I create contents on Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure. So if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Also, if you are looking for any Power BI training programs, please don't forget to connect with us. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. If you are the one who's looking to set a passwordless sign-in with Microsoft Authenticator app, then this video is for you. But please do note that before Coming to this video, you need to set up your Authenticator app. If you don't know how to set up and how to do that, then Microsoft has a very nice documentation where you would get everything regarding passwordless setup for Microsoft Authentication app and you can go through that. You can check the limitation, how you are going to do the registration, etc. And you can watch our other videos as well where you would get the enough information about that. But we are not going into that one because registration is something different and your admin has the different privileges to set it up for you. In this video, what I'm going to focus on, I'm going to focus on something like this. Over here, you can see that you can sign in without entering your password. You just need to use the number that would display on your screen and after that you need to authenticate using your pin or maybe your biometric let's see how to do that first of all you have to come on your azure portal where you have to go to your azure active directory once you come on this portal that means on your azure active directory portal you have to go under the security which you can see on your left hand side pane there's a button or tab with the name security Come over here now what we have to do we have to go for the authentication method that means what kind of authentication method we are going to use so for that there is a tab with the name authentication method so please click on this one once you click over here it would take certain time and here under the policies which would be your very first tab under manage which is over here then over here what you have to do you have to go to your microsoft authenticator Currently, you can see that none of them has been enabled. So what we are going to do first, we have to enable Microsoft Authenticator. And here you would find a toggle button. That means you can enable or disable it. Right now, you can see that it is kind of disabled. So I have to enable it. Now it has been enabled over here. Now for whom you want to enable, that's also another case. Either you can select the odd user or you can also select a group over here so you need to select according to you so i'm going to say select for all users and here the registration is optional which is grayed out that means it's not applicable right now now coming to the authentication mode over here you have to select passwordless that means each time when a user is going to use or try to access any of the service on microsoft azure or maybe power bi in that case, what's going to happen, basically, once you are going to try to sign in, a number is going to display over there. And on the same time, on your Microsoft Power BI Authenticator app, you will get a pop-up. So you have to enter that number over here. So for the time being, I'm just going to say save. So let's see if it can save over here. It may take some time. So now it's been enabled and it has been saved. So this is all what you have to do over here right now in order to enable passwordless sign-in with Microsoft Authenticator app. I hope now you know how to set up passwordless sign-in authentication using Microsoft Authenticator app. However, if you have any question and concern, please don't forget to let us know. See you in the next video.